after a bitter marriage split. It had been 35 long years since Adelaide dad Peter Meikle had seen his children. They were still in primary school when his wife disappeared with his little boy and girl and despite his best efforts, Peter never managed to track them down. But an international website finally cracked the mystery that had haunted Peter for three decades, reuniting him with the family he thought he'd lost forever. And as Susan Kerbel reports, more and more South Australians are turning to the internet to find the missing pieces of their lives. I sent letters and I sent Christmas cards at Christmas time, but I got no replies. I actually said to him one day, look, you're not going to be complete until you find your kids. It's one of parenting's greatest joys, watching your children grow up and creating families of their own. Sadly, Adelaide dad Peter Meikle never got that chance. When was the last time that you remember seeing your two kids? 1970. August 1970. I remember seeing them last in Wyala when I was... Round about 10, 10 and a half. How old are you now? I'm 45. When Peter and his former wife separated, he lost not only his marriage, but his two beloved children, David and Linda. I always asked, you know, when's dad coming to see us or whatever, but she would never talk about him. When Linda and her brother were just 10 and 8 years of age, their mother skipped town with them in tow, leaving Peter with no clue as to their whereabouts. The Salvation Army and the Red Cross managed to trace them to Perth, but no further. I kept going back to the Red Cross and they tried to follow up, but I could see after a while it was just being a bloody nuisance because they've done everything they can. I could see him looking at other kids, you know, around that age, and you could see it, you know, like... And it's something he didn't talk about. After 35 years of searching, Peter had all but given up hope of finding his children. But that all changed when in June last year, his partner Zilpa stumbled across an internet website. I found a free name search and it happened to be Jean's Reunited. And uh, I typed in his surname and that's when I found Linda's note. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm trying to find my father, John Peter Meikle, born the 21st or 22nd of May, 1935, in Liverpool. I just started yelling, you know, Pete, come here, it's Linda, she's looking for you. I was up all night, I, was, I, just, I just couldn't believe it, you know. Hi, gorgeous Linda. Hello. Uh, Jeez. Linda now lives in Scotland and has since she was 15. She too had been searching for Peter for years and it was a friend that suggested she post a notice on the Jeans Reunited website. So when you received a reply to your message? I just about died. <laughs> Three weeks ago, Linda and her youngest son Liam, one of Peter's five grandkids, flew to Adelaide to visit their newfound family. David too, thanks to Linda, has now made contact with Peter from his home in America. I found a part of my life that has been missing all these years, you know. These reunion websites have made a big difference because we've got so many people registered now. Vicky Dawson is co-founder of the website Friends Reunited Australia, the sister site of Jeans Reunited that claims to have four and a half million members worldwide. But Vicky says its popularity is hardly surprising given how difficult it's traditionally been to find long lost friends and relatives. People actually can contact their birth, deaths and marriages as well as actually getting private investigators to locate family for them. Problem with this though, it gets expensive, it's timely and a lot of the times you get negative result. It's a process that's frustrated Adelaide man Colin Proctor who's been searching for his birth mother for 24 years. Seriously, probably when I was about 16, my adopted mother, she sort of pushed me towards it. With the support of partner Tracy, Collins tried births, deaths and marriages, the electoral roll and has even paid money to a couple of overseas websites claiming to locate loved ones, but with no success. That is, until Today Tonight got involved. And then when you guys rung the other day, and pff, yes, just steamrolled from there basically. Today Tonight contacted Colin and Tracy last week to see if they'd made any progress in the search for Colin's mum. And we just happened to mention the success of Peter and Linda. Trace was mucking around on the computer. I was, I was, I was working. 
and uh, she called me in and said, have a look at this, and I, there she is there, and Trace was gobsmacked. As it turns out, Colin's birth mum, or so they believe, has registered on the Jeans Reunited website. They've sent her a message and are now awaiting a response. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? So now it's a waiting game? Basically, yeah. Through Jeans Reunited, because it is a community-based website and people are actually sharing their information with each other, you have a better chance of locating family. While Colin and Tracy wait, Linda's heading back to Scotland, where she plans to apply to migrate to Australia. I feel good. I feel really good. I feel my life's complete.